really like the idea behind Legacy of Cain Defiance. Instead of giving us just one bloodthirsty Prince of Darkness to control as in previous Cain games, this time you get a duo of bloodsuckers to control. As a sequel and presumably the conclusion to the Legacy of Cain series, Defiance is without doubt the game fans of the series have been waiting for. A chance to go on a really messy throat-ripping rampage with both Cain and Raziel but one that mistakenly substitutes the core puzzle-solving gameplay of the originals for a more action-tinged affair. Surrender, fiend, and we will promise you an easy death. I could promise you the same, but it would be a lie. You can bite people, drink their blood, run them through with your sword, pick them up using the power of your mind and throw their shattered bodies onto spikes, fires and over balconies, float in mid-air, walk through metal bars and then bite people some more. And for the most part, it all makes for good-looking, highly polished adventure. Vampire, attack! The unreliable camera catches you out time and time again and the uninventive fetch and carry puzzles become irritating after a while too. You see? Obedience brings prompt rewards. But if you can put up with these minor issues, then Defiance could find itself rubbing shoulders in your games collection with the likes of Capcom's Onimusha and Devil May Cry series, both of which act as spiritual design templates for Defiance's gameplay. Help me! Help me! Oh please, no! Newcomers will find it a tad confusing to follow, with its unintelligible cutscenes that only make sense if you've already played the previous four Legacy of Cain games, and old-timers will moan about the lack of solid puzzles to solve. No banter, Mobius. You know why I'm here. Yes, Raziel. But while it fails to astound us with any kind of real innovation, it's still a top-notch slice of limb-rending, claret-spilling action.